What was supposed to be a quiet weekend in the mountains turned into anything but. Michelle? He's right at the bottom of the steps. Go to your room. I'm not kidding. I just, he's right there. Michelle Eberhardt came to Gatlinburg to enjoy a nice weekend with her husband and some friends, but while she and a friend were in their cabin alone, they received an unexpected visitor. She just started pointing and I was like, what? And so I turned and looked and there's a bear just like putting his full force on the door and then the door opens. Did you get a good picture of it? Yeah. Oh yeah. So the door shut. He just saw me, Michelle. He okay. just saw me. He looked right at me. I called the owner and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know, what do you do? There's a bear in here. And he said, what do you mean there's a bear in here? I was like, there's a bear in the cabin. I don't know what to do. And if one bear inside the house wasn't scary enough, there were three more waiting on the porch. It was just almost surreal. It was just like a fight or flight. Like I, we just have to, re, I just have to remove us from this situation, you know, and make sure that, that at least we're in a safe place. The TWRA saying this behavior is abnormal. Bears usually try to keep their distance from humans. That's not typical bear behavior at all. It's really not typical bear behavior for them to come on to someone's porch and, and start looking for food. Uh, that means that those bears have been around humans and have received handouts or um, have found a, a food source around a dwelling. The police were called, eventually getting the bear out of the house and three others away from the porch, but the bears didn't leave without taking a few souvenirs with them. They got five pounds of Reese's peanut butter cups and a pound of M&Ms and two pounds of Sour Patch Kids and two bags of potato chips, two beers and two Diet Cokes and about 20 Zyrtex.